Today we're going to replace two 6-volt lead-acid batteries with two of the Leetime Smart 100 amp hour lithium batteries. The two old batteries were 6-volt batteries that were in series. Always make sure that your battery voltage is the same when you connect them together. I checked both of these and both of them were 13.2 volts. The new configuration is going to be two 12-volt lithium batteries that are 100 amp hours and they're going to be in parallel which will give us 200 amp hours or double the capacity and one-third the weight. I always like to put Kapton tape or electrical tape on the positive lugs when I remove them just in case somebody turns on a charger or solar panel. I'm helping my friend do this so I let him do the grunt work of pulling those heavy lead acid batteries out and also putting the new lithium batteries in. Whew. Man, these clickers are up. heavy. All right, here we go. One. The lead acid batteries are about 78 pounds compared to the lithium batteries, which are around 22 pounds. There you go, Chris. Right there. Oh. Man, man. Time for a beer now, isn't it? <laughs> Before installing the two new Lytime lithium batteries, I checked the space inside just to make sure that no bolts or screws had fallen in there and will wear a hole in the battery. As you can see, these batteries are so much easier to put in than those lead acid ones were. He's just able to just drop those right in that hole. The lithium batteries were a drop and replacement for the lead acid batteries because they were both group 24 size. The main difference was the wiring. The six volt batteries were in series where the new 12 volt lithium batteries are going to be in parallel. It's important when you connect two batteries in parallel that you connect the positive and negative leads to different batteries. This makes sure that both batteries get the same load at all times. You may also need to change the bolt size. These are M8 metric bolts. I broke off some foam from the original packing to make it so that the batteries didn't move around and uh, bang up against each other while they were traveling. These are the new lead time smart batteries, so you don't even need a shunt. You're able to tell by using the app on your phone, the exact voltage of each battery, the current going in and out of each battery, um, and the performance of each battery while you're using it, as well as the percentage of charge of each battery.